All right, so we're going to continue again from where we left off and take a look at one more type, variable type. This one is a little bit different. So this we're going to be looking at something called a boolean today. Now let's start by grabbing a group box. Let's jump straight in. We go stretch it out. My little ritual at this point, let's be honest. Ten and bold. Now we can't name the group box GB Bull. And the text can be Boolean. Okay, so first thing you really need to know about Boolean is Boolean can actually only hold two different types of data. Um, well, two different values actually, not types of data, it can only hold one type of data, but anyway. So it can only hold two values. And those values are a true and a false. So let's write up a quick Informa uh, information piece on the boolean and uh, then we'll get started so let's we'll create a label and call it lbl bool as always we need to locate auto size and disable it and then stretch it out to a reasonable size all right so So, in C Sharp, and frankly in most program, if not most, if not all, programming languages, a Boolean is a data type that can only have two values. Bool is often shortened to bool because Boolean is a bit of a mouthful, let's be honest. So a bool is a data type that can only have two values. Now, what on earth could we t be talking about? That doesn't sound much like it's much use, but if you think about it, it is an on or an off. It is a true or a false. It's a um, yes or a no. So there are actually quite a few things that we might use it for. Um, I E true slash false on slash off yes slash no. It might be in a uh, application where we have to register. It might be yes, this person has. Uh, logged in? No, they haven't. Um, there's a, a thousand reasons why you might be using a bool. It could be a representation of information that person has um, selected in your program. It's just anywhere where you can have a true or false. And as a result of this bool's nature, we're actually going to represent them a little bit differently. So normally we grab text boxes, but this time we're actually going to grab an item called a checkbox. So we just grab a checkbox out of the toolbox. If you don't see it there, just search checkbox. It'll come up, no problem. We want two of those. And much like we normally do, we're gonna have an input one and an output one. Only to because we're not you're not we wouldn't normally use a Boolean like this, it's a bit odd to use a bool this way. But um it is just for demonstration purposes. So Name for the first checkbox will be chk bool input am I cool. Pretty lame, I know, but it's alright. Now the checkbox 2 can be chk for checkbox. And then bool for boolean, 
and then output because we're going to output it to it. And it'd be great if we spent, uh, spelt output correctly. There we go. Do we want it bold? I don't want it bold. It looks terrible. Shouldn't fuss over formatting so much, but you guys should really get used to properties. Okay, so. Now, let's grab a button from the toolbox, drop it down here, give it its size. Now, we'll call this one BTN bool and give it the text bool run. All right, so let's double click bool run and see what we have. So, as per normal, we've got a, uh, we have a, um, event method. So let's start by declaring a boolean. So, bool is just bool. It's like any other, so let's call this bool was, um, be cool. As in boolean call. Cool. All right, now let's give it its value. So be cool equals chk for the checkbox. Now checkboxes are a little bit different to text boxes. Obviously there isn't a text input field, so we're not going to be putting dot text. Instead, we're actually to get the value of the checkbox going to do dot checked okay and that will give the boolean either a yes for checked or a no for unchecked okay so there we go and now as before sending it back the other way is just the reverse so checkbox output dot checked equals be cool there we go now, let's run this and see what happens. Hit start at the top. Declaring variables. Am I cool? I think I am. Click run. Was I cool? Were, I, were you cool? Yep, I sure was. And there we go. That's a boolean. Now, I will say that normally booleans are used in uh, logic. So, this is a bit of an odd use case for a boolean. However, I didn't want to show you if if statements and loops before you had your uh, your variables down packed. So that was a bool, quite simple one, just a yes or a no, and I'll see you next video.